Hey there, in this video I'm going to review the Withings Body Scan Connected Health Station. That's a mouthful. I'm making this video because, well, it's that time of the year, end of the holiday season, heading into the start of 2023. Some of you, and certainly me, gained more weight than we would have liked over the holiday season, and we're looking at ways to reduce that weight as we head into 2023. So I bought the Withings Body Scan. First, I'm going to give an overview of Withings as a company and some of the products they make. Then I'm going to review the body scan. And finally, I'm going to see if I can recommend it. And as always, there'll be chapter markers down below so you can skip on to the bits you might be interested in because the review of the product will come later in the video. Withings is a French healthcare company that make a variety of products to help analyze your health data. They make a smartwatch, there's a thermometer, a couple of different blood pressure monitors, sleep mat, and various smart scales and they all link into a HealthMate app that tracks the data and that links together with any Apple health devices. So uh, you can get a sort of overall picture of health from all of your various different devices. I have most of the devices that Withings make. I have, I don't have the smartwatch, um, but if I was looking for a discreet watch, I mean, I'm not looking for a discreet watch, but if I was, they make uh, some very discreet ones which, which will still get your heart rate, etc., etc. but you could wear under a, well, I mean, I've worn these under a tuxedo, so <laughs> none of that bothers me, but they do make an elegant smartwatch or series of them. They do a thermometer, I use that on a daily basis. There's a blood pressure monitor. I've had, there's two different types, have both of them. There's a sleep mat. <laughs> see the obsession creeping in. There's a sleep mat that goes under your, your bed, and measures various things, and there's various smart scales. And all the data that it captures goes into the HealthMate app. Withings make various scales. There's a body for about 50 euro, a body plus, which I have for about 100 euro, a body cardio for about 145, and a body comp for 210. And as you go up, they give you a little bit more health data, a little bit more readings of various Body functions. I've been using the Withings Body Plus for a number of years now. It measures your weight, your weight trend up or down, your fat mass, your body water. It'll tell you the weather, should you need that, the steps you did the previous day, because it links again to various health connecting devices. It'll tell you your bone mass and your muscle mass, and it'll give you a BMI indication. It also wishes you a happy birthday and happy new year whenever they occur. The Body Scan Connected Health Station is Withings latest uh, super duper they don't call it a scale they call it body scan and uh, it does it does all those other things but it does a variety of things it'll give you segmental body composition vascular age uh, wave velocity and electrodermal activity score amongst other things and i'll go through those by showing you the details on the app the body scan is different to the other winning scales in that it has a little bar you pull up, you wrap your hands around it and you put your two thumbs on two little black pieces at the top and then that will help take the measurements. It's on a spring so it retracts in and for those who have restricted movement and don't want to bend down all the time picking this thing up, you can actually, it comes with a little device you can stick onto the wall and then hook it around to the wall. But I tend to bring my scales <laughs> with me when I travel because um, sometimes you get to a hotel, they don't have them and being obsessive. So uh, yeah, but it's a really simple unit to use. For the purposes of this particular video, I'm wearing clothes because there's a glass surface and I noticed some unfortunate reflections. So I've done this in clothes, so I wouldn't read too much into the actual data they're popping out. But uh, it sends an electrical circuit up through your body and then it measures various things. They pop up on the screen and then it sends that to your phone, assuming you've connected it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I measure myself twice a day. I get up in the morning, go to the toilet, stand on the scales naked, and then I do the reverse in the evening. So I've got four years of quite a lot of weight and other health data. It's very easy to set up. To pair, you open up the HealthMate app. It'll detect the um, scales. So in a second, it'll pop up. Your scale has been detected. I did this the other day. So um, I'm just watching this and commenting. And then, you know, it's an image of the scale and then checks for the update. This didn't take very long. Like most software, it takes our hardware, it takes a firmware update. So the firmware comes along and uh, I've been using HealthMate app for many years. So I have that already on the thing. So you can see it's going 2%, 3%, 4%. I'm going to skip through till 100%. So let's skip through this. Otherwise you'd be bored all day you know, rather than just for a short time. So we'll go 98 and then, so it didn't take very long, a couple of minutes. And then it reboots the scale. Again, that didn't take very long and uh, we'll see how long that takes. And I'm gonna scan forward again. And then it asks for Wi-Fi networks and passwords. I'm gonna skip through that because I don't wanna go through all my Wi-Fi passwords. So we'll skip through that and then configuring your device. 
So it's got my, it connects to Wi-Fi, it also connects Bluetooth to the phone. So that's how it does it. And then again, I'll see how long, I'll scan through this. Oh, here we go, I'll go back to this. So uh, here we are, the body scan is ready. You'll be guided through and it shows some various things about the impedance, um, tells you the various things, how to use it, tells you a bit about gold, segmental body composition, discover electrodermal activity. But here's the scanner. I mean, here it is, you stick your feet on. I mean, I'll show, I'll show a video of this anyway, but um, you pull up the bar and uh, away you go. You put your hands on it. Yeah, again, this is a better um, description on me showing the picture, but uh, here we go, do all that. It's, it's actually, it's incredibly easy to set up, very easy to use. You set a target weight. I always set 80 kilograms just as a target. Um, uh, I've been down to 76, I think, and you know, up and down. 80 is kind of where I want to be at. Um, so I just, I'm just shifting this up and down so you can see. Ironically enough, even at uh, 78 or something, I'm overweight according to uh, the, uh, the little chart on the side. But we'll, we'll scan through that again. I'll speed this up here and go through that. And then it, it talks about segmental body composition. I'll go through that separately. It talks about how to perform. Um, and uh, so a couple of things it does talk about. Um, you choose a model. So a man, I chose man. Um, and then it talks about your electrodermal activity score. Uh, it'll go through your vascular age. It'll go through how to perform the measurement. Essentially, you stand on the thing, hold the thing for until it tells you to stop. I don't know. 30 seconds, something like that, but very easy to set up and use. I put all of my data in the free Withings Health Mate app and various different devices that I have from various different companies pop in there. So that's a really handy one sort of stop place for me to look at all the data. They've recently introduced the Health Plus subscription service, which costs 100 euro a year. I don't know exactly what it does. I decided to sign up to give it a go, but uh, I'll probably report back maybe in a year or whenever there's sufficient interest. But uh, I'm going to try that. But yeah, the ordinary HealthMate app is free. Let's have a look at some of that data on the HealthMate app. So open up the app, it goes down, pul pulse wave velocity needs another measurement. But you've got the daily steps that's coming in either from my Garmin or from my uh, Apple Watch. 13 floors climb today. <laughs> going up and down the computer to here. And then my weight is going down, which is what I want. And um, in this, there's the body composition. So that's new to the body scan. And you can explore your segmental analysis, either your fat mass or your muscle mass. It knows what uh, gender I am. I've put that in earlier. And then so it's low in my arms, fat mass, low in my torso, but lowest in my legs, which I guess is what you'd expect if you're a runner. I don't know. Um, and you can pick left leg or right leg and then it gives you its lowest rank compared to people of my age, etc. And so it does all that. It'll do the torso, it'll do the arms, it'll do the muscle mass in the same areas. So again, torso, highest in my legs. Again, if you're a runner, I don't suppose that's too surprising. But um, again, I'll try and monitor these over some time, see, see what they actually mean. My vascular age, I'm 59, so I'm between 57 and 61. It's very clever, this. and. Um, Pulse wave velocity, it did measure it. I, I don't know what that means. Um, I'll dig into that. My nerve health is normal. And as I scan down through this, what I'm really looking for is all the green signs. Other than that, I'm not really too bothered. Um, and so most things are green. I think earlier on today, uh, it said something about sleep apnea, which comes from the sleep mat that I measured, not this. But anyway, the net result is it captures a lot of data and you can, uh, well, if I went to health data or to weight data, there'll be four years of it in here. If I go all, there'll be four years of it. So um, uh, stable, but you can see I, I deliberately went on a cliff of weight loss. I'll put a video at the end uh, to that, but, um, and then it's been rising a little bit as I took my eye off the ball, but it's time to, and I was also trying to see my ideal weight for starting a marathon. So I was, um, this is the self-justification bit. So I was doing a little bit of that, but yeah, that's going to go on a downward curve from now on because I'm going to watch my own video and take on board the advice of, of uh, a YouTuber and try and lose some weight in the next couple of months as I run towards uh, racing season. And of course, as well as looking at this on your iPhone or your Android device, you can also look at it on your PC or, or Mac and log in and you get all your data in a wider format so you can drill in a little more. How accurate is the data? Well, in simple terms, I don't know. I mean, I, I look at it. What I'm trying to see is when it changes. That's all I'm trying to see. I'm not looking at the absolute numbers, maybe in the weight I am, but in the sort of, you know, um, in blood pressure or in 
um, heart rate. I'm looking for any changes of any significance. And when they are, I beetle off to the doctor for more intensive tests. I do that twice a year anyway. Um, my dad died of prostate cancer at about 64, I think. And uh, he was a very fit man, but I think he didn't observe the changes in his body or he thought they would go away. I don't, that's one lesson I learned. Uh, as soon as I see any change, I'm off to get it uh, to check out. So um, that's one of the reasons I've got this. When I look at some of the data, I mean, it gives me my vascular age and I look, you know, it says between 57 and 61. Now, knows how old I am, because it's because you, you do some setup and I'm right bang in the middle of that. So I'm 59 and I'm thinking, is it any more accurate than the guy who goes to the doctor and says, you know, doc, how long do you think I'm going to live? And he says, well, how long did your mother live? She says, 80. And how old did your dad live to? 60. Well, I think you're going to live to 70. And <laughs> I don't know if it's any more accurate than that, but as long as it's giving me some data and I just look at when it's going to change, I can beetle off to the doctor who will tell me something probably more accurately, hopefully. The unit is powered by a rechargeable battery. You simply connect into USB-C to power it up. And with things say, it'll go about 12 months between charges. The body scan connected health station is not cheap. It cost me 399 euro and 99 cent. In the UK, it's 399 pounds and 95 pence. It's not available as I'm making this video in the US, as far as I can see, and similarly in Australia. But it will come online in various territories throughout 2023, and different features will get rolled out according to medical health approval. I think at the moment, mine isn't giving the ECG, but uh, I have ECG on a couple of other devices, so that's fine for me at the moment. Should you buy the Withings Body Scan Connected Health Station? Well, 400 bucks is a lot to pay just to weigh yourself every day, but I don't look at it this way. In the same way that an iPhone isn't just a phone, I mean, I imagine a lot of you watch YouTube videos on them. This is, and Withings refer to it, they don't call it a scale, they call it a body scan connected health station. 400 euro to spend on my health isn't a lot of money. I mean, I have four years of data at the last scale and it's working just as well as when it previously did. So for me, yeah, I think it's worth it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you would hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some great videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.